Hey, what is up everybody? It is Josh Thomas here. Welcome to another edition of Joshy's Junk here at the BitBlock. What the heck is Joshy's Junk? It's not what you're thinking. I see those comments about Joshy's Junk and I know that you guys think it's something else. Joshy's Junk is where I sit down and I show you guys the crazy junk, the toys and random miscellaneous objects that I have collected through the many years. So let's not waste any more time. I'm ready to finally show you my delicious, delicious mwah, junk. First up on the shopping block, we have got 1001 classic commercials. So this is a DVD, a set of DVDs where it's just basically old commercials. I bought this from a hardware store, oddly enough. Um, I just loved the idea of doing a video with this someday where I just sit back and look at old retro commercials. It smells like the garden department at a Walmart. Uh, it smells grassy for some reason. So yeah, those are the DVDs. It looks like there's three of them, I think. Yeah, there's three discs and uh, just a bunch of discs of old commercials. I think someday I'm gonna probably do a video where I just react to sitting back and watching these. Sounds like it could be some kind of a fun live stream to do at the BitBlock here someday. But look at this, over 16 hours of the greatest TV commercials. <gasps> I hope they have the where's the beef lady. Wait, where's the beef? Where's the meat? Where's the beef, I think is what she said. But look at that, we got Barbie, we've got Silly Putty, Ajax, stronger than dirt. I don't know, this looks like it could be funny. And uh, I don't know, I like old things, unless you gotta hug them then you kind of smell old. But I don't have to hug this, but I'm going to anyway. Beep, 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 boop, 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 beep, beep, boop, 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 beep, beep. So this is a wooden clock that I got. As you might be able to tell, it's a robot. It's an orange robot. Orange is my favorite color. Um, it's just really cool. I don't have the little, or see the robot's supposed to have a little penis dangling down here. He's got like a little, like not a real penis. It's like a robot penis. Pendulum. Pendulum, is that what it's called? Pendulum? Something. I don't know. It's easier to just call it the robot's penis. And it dangles down there, you can see, and it goes back and forth. Uh, this is from Modern Moose, uh, made in Massachusetts. Oh. This is a weird little product that I recently bought in Florida at uh, Sanford, Florida's Walmart, which is a place I used to go to a lot when I lived there. Uh, but this was like so weird, I had to get it. It was a buck. This is a sand scooper. We've got some very weird artwork of a demonic child who has a very large wolverine-like hand. And the idea is you're supposed to go to the beach and you stick this in between your mitts like this. I should have gotten two of them so I could do this and scare people away from me. But it's used to scoop sand when you're at the beach. So if that didn't annoy you enough to stop watching the video, this is a little hand drum thing with a toidal drawn on it. Uh, this is from Aruba, I believe. But it's just this cool little drum. It's got some nice material there. It's got little doohickey, little twangers there, whatever you want to call them. And you're supposed to do this. And then everybody around you will run away because you're super annoying or they'll just break this. I've had numerous people try to rip this out of my hand and break it, but as you can see, it hasn't been broken yet. These might be kind of a weird thing to show you because I don't think I can really properly show you, but they're little magnets that go on a refrigerator and they're pinwheels. I guess I can probably show you. Got them in four colors, green, blue, orange, and pink. Uh, and they're just, you know, if you want to put a note up on the fridge for your roommate to stop watching you as you sleep, you know, you write the note, hey, Fred, stop watching me while I sleep. This is weird, we're roommates. I don't wanna have anything to do with that weird behavior. And then you stick it onto the fridge with one of these cool little pinwheel magnets. <gasps> you know where this is going. Being a child of the 90s, there are many amazing toys that I've collected. These little suckas are called Blurp balls. So blurp balls are a little bit like mad balls if you've heard of them, but these are kind of cooler because you squeeze them and they spit out this little rubber toy that's wedged inside their throat. So I've got a pig and he's got an apple with worms in it. Get a good shot of the pig. Look at that pig's butt. 
And then this is a frog, and the frog has a, a big wad of a dead fly stuck in him. So the thing is, um, through the years, the, the rubber has gotten kind of hard, so it's harder to squeeze it out, but we'll see if we can do it. So let's see if we can squeeze him. That just went behind my bed. So anyways, we've also got the pig. Got the pig, let's do the pig. It's so hard. So the thing about these things that's really fun is you can hurt people with them. Um, generally like in the summer when I don't have my air conditioning on and it gets kind of hot in here, it's way easy to use these things. You just squeeze them and it goes flying. These things shoot those little pegs out with an amazing force uh, to where you will get hurt if somebody hits you with one of these. And I think that's part of a good childhood toy if you can injure your sibling with it. I'm gonna go grab one of these things so I can show you what it looks like. This is the uh, apple that came out of the pig's mouth. See, it's like a little peg. And then this is the fly that spits out of the frog's mouth. So they also make a cat that spits out a mouse. They make a dinosaur that spits out a caveman. They're just really cool. I think there's like six. Oh, there's a Dracula that spits out, I think, a heart. There's a skeleton that spits out maybe a heart and the Dracula spits out something else. I don't remember, but they're really cool. I want to collect even more of these. I dropped it. Um, they are pretty amazing. Let's see if I can hit you guys with it. Ready? This, uh, <laughs> this is a really old plushie I have. I think these came from Wendy's. I think you could get these from Wendy's for like three bucks. I could be wrong. Uh, this is Alf, as you can see. He is one heck of a happening dude. He's got a shirt on that says, no problem. And he's wearing sunglasses. It's funny, you can also, you can take the sunglasses up and you can look at his eyes. There you go. So. It's an elf plush. He's kind of dusty. He's very thick. He's got that kind of fur that was like used a lot in toys from the 80s. It's very hot. I would never snuggle with this because I, my body temperature would probably rise to about 200 degrees. Just holding him is making me sweaty. So back in the day, uh, kids meal toys were amazing. Nowadays, I don't even know if you get a toy with a Happy Meal or a Burger King kids meal or whatever. Uh, but like I said, back in the day, they were the sniz, and one of my favorite toys that I can definitely remember are these things. These are from Tiny Toon Adventures, and I'll show you one of them at a time. And the cool thing about these toys is they're like little cars, you know, with wheels, but you could flip them. So on this side, we've got uh, Daffy Duck, but if we flip it, whoosh, 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 it's Babs Bunny. So it's kind of got this neat little flipping thing. So Babs is, for some reason, in a phone, I guess because she's a girl and girls like to talk on phones. Um, and even her side of the wheels are like an old fashioned phone dialing thing. And then Plucky is uh, Plucky is in a boat and he's got little lifesavers for wheels on his side. So a really cool little idea for a toy. They're little flippy things. Hampton the pig is in a hero sandwich. He's got some tomato wheels and then Dizzy? I think his name was Dizzy, right? Dizzy Devil? I feel like that's right. I think. Uh, he is in like a, looks like some sort of stereo. And then he's got little knobs, volume knobs for his wheels. That's pretty awesome. And then final, oh no, we've got two more. Uh, this is, oh, what was this guy's name? I totally forget. Bonkers? Wacky? I don't remember that guy's name, but he's really weird and loopy. Um, he's in a bathtub with a bunch of bubbles, and he's got soap, I think? Soap bar... Little soap things, okay. And then uh, Montana Max is on the other side, and his is coins for wheels, and he's just in a really fancy car. Montana Max was weird. He's like this really rich, spoiled kid. He, he was an asshole. Uh, <laughs> and then we got Buster Bunny. He's in a carrot, and... Uh, what are his wheels? I guess the green things are his wheels. I guess they're just green because like carrot leaves. And his he's in a carrot that has a number one on it because he's number one. And then on the other side, Elmira. Elmira scared me so much as a child. She just got normal wheels as well. Elmira, oh my God. So Elmira is in like this crate and it's filled with little animals. It's filled with like little sad, miserable, dogs or cats, I think. Oh, dogs and cats are in there. So in case you don't know, Elmira always like 
grabbed animals and tortured them. And I remember as a kid, I was always terrified by the thought of like being captured by Elmira and getting her to like torment me. So I've been showing you guys a lot of stuff from like a long time ago, the 80s and the 90s, but these, well these actually kind of are from a long time ago. They're Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but these are new toys for them. Uh, these are really cool. They're like a blind bag that come in these boxes. You can get these at Target. That's where I got them. You maybe can find them other places like, I don't know, Toys R Us, Walmart. Uh, but the cool idea behind these is that you actually stack them. They have little pegs on their head and you can take them off and you can stack them in various ways. You can see they're kind of doing it there. Here's all the ones you can collect. Pretty darn neat. Uh, but when I saw these, I was just like, oh, what a neat little gimmick to get me want to collect every one of them. All right, my little chickadees, that is gonna do it for another episode of Joshi's Junk. Hopefully you've had some fun here today checking out my junk. I know I've had a lot of fun showing it to you. I really value these intimate moments that we share together when I show you my junk. Hey, you know what? If you wanna watch even more episodes of Joshi's Junk, you can click the playlist in this video description. And also, if you haven't already, and I'm gonna be so heartbroken if you haven't, you can follow me on all sorts of social media, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook. Links for those are in the description as well. And as I always say, keep it locked right here to the BitBlock. Block. <laughs>